Hey guys, so today I'm here to do an unboxing of the October uh, crate box and I believe the theme for this month is Lost in a Bookstore. So I'm really excited as always. I received this much earlier than I usually do, so I'm super excited. It was an unexpected surprise. And yeah, so I'm super excited to get in. I'm excited to see what book is included in this box. And yeah, let's just get into it. Also, if you do want to try out Owl Crate, you can use the code Chloe for 10% off your first purchase. Okay, so time to open it up. Okay, so I'm gonna put the box here. Oh my gosh, I love the print on the spoiler card. Yes, the theme is lost in the bookstore. We have someone in the bookstore reading a book, getting their tea poured for them. Oh my gosh, it's so magical, I love it. That's stunning. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited for this theme. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh, okay, so the first item we have is these out of print socks. It's actually a collaboration between underlined and out of print, and these are book nerd socks. And I love socks, so I'm super excited to see the full design. I'm just gonna open it up. Oh my gosh, okay, so these are super cute. They're black and they have blue and white books on them. It says book. Let me just try to put my hand in there and show you. Yeah, so on the bottom of the foot it says book. So that's really cool when your feet are up, it's gonna be like <laughs> really cute. But yeah, good quality as always. We have previously gotten some socks from Out of Print before, so I really love their socks. Super good quality, nothing better than good quality thick socks. Yeah, and I really love this design, it's super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy with these. Yes. Okay, next, oh, <laughs> next item is, I believe this is tea. This packaging is really freaking cute. So it is Choco Mint Truffle. So this is from the Tea Spot and this has five servings in it. I've definitely been wanting to try different flavoured teas because I usually just have English breakfast. So yeah, I'm excited to try this and again, I really love this packaging, so yes. Okay, next item. Ooh, I actually don't know what this... Oh, so this is a really cute tea strainer. I actually have been needing one of these. So that's really good that they included this. So yeah, this is a Love of Reading tea strainer, our credit exclusive. That is really cute and I love the color. I love how it's like a little heart. That's really cute. So next thing I <gasps> I think I accidentally got two. I don't think you're supposed to get two, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So this is a Harry Potter print and it, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I just realized. <laughs> so it's the Mirror of Arizid. What bookworms desire the most is just a stack of books with a cute little owl and a little wand and a cup of tea. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's amazing. That's one of my favorite prints we've ever received, actually. I love it. And of course I love Harry Potter. So I love how it's Harry Potter themed and yeah, that I just love the concept. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cute. So let's see who designed it. <laughs> so it says, what would the Mirror of Erised's reflection show if you gazed into it? We have a feeling for many of us it would be piles of books and a letter to Hogwarts. Yes. <laughs> so Michelle Gray illustrated this. Oh my gosh, it is just so cute. But yeah, I'm actually lucky enough to have received two. Um, so I think I'm going to give this to my friend or something. But oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I love it a lot and I'm really happy with it. <laughs> okay, I think I accidentally just saw the book. So let's just open it. So the book is Pride and I've actually seen this because a few people got arcs of it at BookCon. So yes, it is a Pride and Prejudice remix. And this is an Owl Crate exclusive, so let's open it up. Yes, so this is what the cover looks like. I really love it. I love how it kind of looks like an old book. And then it has like obviously the pink makes it more modernized. Yeah, I actually really love this cover. And oh, that's stunning. <gasps> Look at those end papers. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen something like this on end papers. That's so pretty. And it's pink. Oh, and the spine underneath is stunning with some gold foiling. Oh, so pretty. Yes, this is signed by the author. Maybe is a boy. So it says this is a timely update of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice by the critically acclaimed author Ibi is a boy who skillfully balances cultural identity, class and gentrification against the heady magic of first love in her vibrant reimagining of this beloved classic. So we actually haven't read Pride and Prejudice. Let me know if you think I should read it first or let me know if you've read Pride and Prejudice and if you think I'd like it because I don't read classics that often but maybe I'd be into it. I do have it on my shelf because it is one classic that I'm interested in. But yeah, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> so maybe 
Should I read it before this? I don't know. The main character is Afro-Latino, which is obviously very exciting, loving that diversity. I am excited for this. Yes. It also comes with this bookmark and it also has this little note from the author, which is always exciting. And then we have, of course, the little owl crate pin that matches the artwork on the spoiler card. And I just looked in the box and I forgot that this box includes two books. So there's another book in there. What? <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so let's see what the next book is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. I actually don't know what this is about, but I have heard of it, and I think I've heard good things about it. Plus, it looks like a fantasy, so of course I'm excited about it. And this cover is stunning, and it's actually one of those bigger hardcovers. Yes! And this is also signed by the author. That's amazing. If I'm correct, I think this might be an Asian fantasy. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited, so let's see what it's about. So on the back it says, a fox shapeshifter sworn to hide a mysterious scroll, a secret assassin under orders to kill to obtain it. Hunted by demons, gods and shadows, their wary bound may break them or alter the course of the world. Oh my gosh, this looks so freaking cool. 1000 years ago, the great Kami dragon, <laughs> dragons, <laughs> was summoned to grant a single terrible wish and the land of Iwagato was plunged into an age of darkness and chaos. Now, for whoever holds the scroll of a thousand prayers, a new wish will be granted. A new age is about to dawn. Raised by monks in the isolated Silent Winds Temple, Yumiko has trained all her life to hide her yokai nature. Half kitsune, half human, her skill with illusion is matched only by her penchant for mischief. Until the day her home is burned to the ground, her adoptive family is brutally slain, and she is forced to flee for her life with the temple's greatest treasure one part of the ancient scroll. There are many who would claim the dragon's wish for their own. Kaji Tatsumi, a mysterious samurai of the Shadow Clan, is one such hunter under orders to retrieve the scroll at any cost. Fate brings Kaji and Yumiko together. With a promise to lead them to the scroll, an uneasy alliance is formed offering Yumiko her best hope for survival. But he seeks what she has hidden away and her deception could ultimately tear them both apart. With an army of demons at her heels and the unlikeliest of allies at her side, Yumiko's secrets are more than a matter of life or death. They are the key to the fate of the world itself. <laughs> this truly, truly sounds amazing. I'm loving that this is an Asian fantasy. I don't think I've ever read an Asian fantasy, so I definitely want to. So this is definitely pretty high in my TBR. I definitely want to get to it relatively soon. And yes this cover. So we also have the bookmark that matches the book and we have the little note from the author. So she says, prepare to be swept away in a tale of adventure, heavily flavoured by my favourite myths from Japan. Oh, that's so cool. So yes, I'm really happy that they included an Asian fantasy in this box. It makes me happy. So let's see what the exclusive outcome cover. Jokes. We have one more item. Ooh. Oh. Oh my gosh, so I think this might be like an iPad case or maybe just like a pouch, but it's really stunning on the back. It says books are uniquely portable magic and it has this stunning print. Oh my gosh, this is so stunning. So yeah, you just open it up and it looks like this. Oh my gosh, I'm really loving this. So yeah, I think it's just like a pouch, but yeah, I feel like it'd be good for like an iPad if actually does an iPad fit in there? Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see what it says. So it actually says this is a canvas clutch purse, which you can bring with you next time you're on a trip to the bookstore. Oh, and it also says it's big enough to fit most small books. Oh, I love that. There's definitely a lot of ways that you could use this, so I really love it. And it's designed by Bookworm Boutique. This is actually one of my favourite quotes of all time, and I have used it for my quote on the blackboard that I do in my weekly reading vlogs. Yeah, I love this quote a lot, and this is a really cool product. So yeah, time for the little newsletter. So yeah, of course the newsletter has the same art print as the spoiler card and it has an interview with the author. Okay, so the Alcrane exclusive has pink writing and the irregular has blue. So I prefer the pink personally just because I love pink. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this really stunning cover and it has a little word search, has a little interview with Julie Kagawa. Ooh. 
Okay, so the Alcrate exclusive cover is red with a silver fox and the regular cover is black with a gold fox. Both covers are stunning, but I do prefer the red. I feel like it's really fun and I love red, so I really love this cover. I'm just so astounded that we got two books plus amazing items. I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, so the November theme, let me just get the little card. The November theme is Rise from the Ashes. That looks cool. So it says every November box will include an exclusive wax seal kit from Team Alacrae. I'm all here for wax seals, so that's very exciting. <laughs> so that is the October Alcrate box. I am so happy with this, as always. I'm just always happy with the Alcrate boxes, but I just can't believe that we received two books. My mind is blown. <laughs> and I'm really excited about both of them, even though I haven't read Pride and Prejudice yet, so. So again, let me know if you think I should read Pride and Prejudice before I read Pride. I'm definitely most excited about Shadow of the Fox, just because I love fantasy, and I haven't read any Asian fantasy, so. I'm just really, really excited about this. And my favourite item, I think it's a tie between the art print and this little pouch. Oh, it's too hard to choose between the two, but I really love this art print. It's it's just so cute. I'm excited to put it on my wall. I'm happy with every single item. I, yes, this is a great box. So thank you so much again to Alcrate for sending me this box. I don't even know if I mentioned at the beginning that, yeah, I'm an Alcrate rep. So they send me their boxes each month for me to unbox. So thank you so much to Alcrate. I loved it. And yes, I'm excited for November, as always. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what your favorite item in this box is. So I hope you guys are having a good day or night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.